Hi guys, my name is Marie and welcome to my channel. So in this video, I want to talk about bento boxes and I want to give a big thank you to Bento & Co for sponsoring this video. So bento boxes are reusable single serving lunch boxes which are really common in Japan and they will usually contain rice or noodles and some kind of protein and vegetables and they're usually really colorful and healthy and good. So in Japan, you can buy pre-made bento boxes at the convenience store, at the train station, it's called ekiben. You can also buy cheap ones at the grocery store for like like less than five US dollars and they're really good. But despite having these pre-made, delicious, cheap bentos available, people will still make bento lunches at home. When your kids are in preschool or yochian in Japan, bento culture is really big and moms will make these really elaborate bentos called karaben. And so they'll shape their rice like a Hello Kitty or Anpanman or some other really cute um, cartoon character that the kids like. And some moms will even take classes on how to make cute caravan and they can get really elaborate. And I think that at some preschools they've even banned caravan. Maybe it's because um, some of the kids who don't have caravan might feel bad or maybe it's just to take the pressure off of parents but I know some moms who will make caravan for their kids every single day and post it on Instagram and I have another Japanese friend who will make a really nutritious lunch and she also posts that on Instagram. When my daughter was in Yochian I was lucky because I would only have to make her a bento lunch once a quarter when she went on a field trip and for her regular school lunch she would have kyushoku which is Japanese school lunch but when she did have to have a bento lunch I felt a lot of pressure to make a caravan so um you know, I was a little bit stressed out on those mornings, but what I would do is I would go to Family Mart and buy the pre-made food, and then I would assemble it in a cute way. So like the main task I would have to do would be to make like a cute rice ball. So that wasn't too bad, but some of the other moms really have to do a lot for their school lunch. Also, sometimes when you go to the park, you'll see a bunch of school children sitting on their individual picnic mats enjoying their bento lunch. And there's also other occasions where you'll have a big family picnic gathering and people will prepare a family bento. So on occasions like um, cherry blossom festivals where people will have Hanami, which is basically um, cherry blossom viewing. They'll get together with their friends and family and make these elaborate picnic boxes to share. And also um, there's this thing called Undokai, which is sports day. And that's where kids will compete in sports at school and the families will go and watch. So it's really kind of a big production and the family will spend the whole day at Undokai. So parents will be encouraged to make a bento box for the whole family. And that's another occasion where you'll have like a family style picnic. Box. Bento & Co is a company that's based in Kyoto and I was super excited when they wanted to collaborate with me because this is exactly the type of product that I would just purchase on my own. So they allowed me to pick out a couple of bento boxes and I let my daughter pick out the ones that she liked and she picked out the Kokeshi doll bento boxes. They are pastel colored. I think this is the Harajuku version. These are almost too cute to use. I mean, I'm gonna use these because I agreed to do a collaboration, but I kind of just want to put them on my shelf because they're so pretty. The top bowl just separates, and you have a soup bowl, so you can get one of those instant miso soups and dilute it with hot water. And then there's two compartments where you can pack food. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. It comes with this um, strap that you can use to secure like everything together and they also let me pick out a couple of cases to hold the bento so I let my daughters pick out the cases that they liked and my older daughter chose Kiki's delivery service and my younger daughter chose my melody. My daughter squealed when she saw these things and for my husband and I, I picked out this gorgeous white lacquer bento box with plum blossoms on it and this is a three-tiered bento box which can be used for family style picnic lunches. This one comes apart, it doesn't have like a strap, but they, they sent me this gorgeous blue silk furoshiki, which is a cloth that you can use to tie up the bento and secure it. And oh my gosh, I, I'm afraid that I'm gonna get this dirty, it's so pretty. It's made of silk and it's just like so gorgeous and it matches with the bento box so well. Um, so I'm really excited to use this. And they also sent me this cat omusubi maker. 
so I'm gonna give this a try. So Bento & Co sent me these things for free, but they're like super cute, right up my alley. They're definitely the type of things I would probably spend my own money on if you guys know my channel. So we're gonna make a bento lunch together in this video, and I'm gonna take you guys on a little picnic with my family. If you'd like to purchase any of these items, I'll link them below. And if you wanna save 10% on your next order, go ahead and use my code Kawaii World. <laughs>
Yours is cute too. Your ears. Big happy face. <laughs> okay, can you keep opening? You googly eye, why do you put Sticky sock on my feet. Sliding in your butt or sliding in your sock? Just the same thing. Oopy, too late. 